Hello guys, up until now we had a basic introduction of CSS and we used a few CSS properties. In this video, we will be covering some more CSS properties. So let's head back to Sublime Text. So this is Sublime Text and currently we have two files, style.css and cssdemo.html. Now, up until now what we did was we increased the font size of this particular paragraph tag. Now, in this particular video, we are going to change the font type. Okay, so let's head back to our style.css and let's remove all the code. Hit save and reload. This is how the page currently looks. Let's do one more thing. Uh, let's remove this image from our web page. Save and reload. So, this is the current status of the web page. Now what I want is, I want to change the font type of this particular page. To do that, what I'll do is, I'll simply go back to my style.css and I'll type P curly braces and I'll write font family. And inside here, I'll write times. If you know, times is one of the fonts that you may find in Microsoft Word or Paint or similar softwares. Let's hit save, go back. And now if you reload, okay, nothing changes. Uh, I guess CSS uses times as the default font. So let's go back and change it to Arial. You must have heard of Arial. Let's go back and see if, yeah, now you can see the font has been changed to Arial. So there are a lot of fonts. Uh, I can give you one more example, say Courier. And if I save and reload, so this is how courier looks so you can find a lot of fonts when you google and you can change according to your needs now let's move on to the next part and let's create borders so what exactly is a border border is kind of a surrounding line which surrounds a html element so let's create a border for this particular h1 so how do we create borders using style? Um, I'm sorry, how do we create borders using CSS? You can create a border by writing something like this. You write border, you provide the width of the border, you provide the color or background color of the border, say red, and you provide the manner in which the border will be displayed. That is continuous solid, save. Now if we we'll reload, can you see this red colored border now if you go back and change this to 10 pixels yes you guessed it right the border will be thicker and if we change this particular property this particular value with a hex code uh, by the way hex codes are color codes that you can find on google uh, why do we use color codes a typical color code is a six uh, letter alphanumeric a uh, word which you use to represent a color a typical one will be 00A65A this is one valid color code it's green you can easily change values and get different color codes I'm randomly changing the values and now if I reload see this is some other variant so as there are not enough words for every color so the developers have created this hex code for every color so now the question arises how would you know what is the hex code for a particular color the answer is you have to google you can go to google chrome and you can type hex code generator and go to any link and you can click it over here once you click over here you get the color code like this and you have to just copy this control C and you have to paste it over here control V save reload and this is how you can change the color now the last property this can be changed to dotted or dashed So this is how you can handle 
properties of a particular body. Great, right? Now, let's move on to the third CSS property and that is text decoration. So, what is text decoration? Text decoration is basically a way to decorate your text. So, again, let's take an example of this H1 and let's remove the existing code and let's save it. Now, if you rewrote, the page will look like this. I want that there should be a wavy red colored underline for this particular H1. To add a wavy red colored underline, what you have to do is you have to write text decoration uh, underline and wavy and red. Now, if I save this and if I reload, I have got a wonderful wavy red colored line. I can change this underline with a overline. Save. And you get that same line on the top of the element. This can be wavy, <coughs> dashed, or dotted. <coughs> like this. <clears throat> so this was the third CSS property. Now let's move on to a very important CSS property that is background image. So now what if I want that this particular web page should have a background image. You must have seen a lot of places, a lot of websites which uses background images. So let's say I want this particular page to have the facebook.png background this one let's see how it works to do that what you have to do is you have to write body and you have to use background image property and inside here you have to provide the path of the facebook image uh, why we have written this the reason is the style.css file is currently inside the CSS folder. So this particular thing tells the browser that you have to go up a directory and search for the file in there. So now if I save this and if I go back and reload, see this is what I have got. I have got a background image. But as you can see, there is a slight problem that the image is occurring four times. The reason is this Facebook image is not able to fill the entire screen because the dimensions of the image is smaller than the screen size. So if you face a problem like this in which the background image is smaller than the screen size or greater than the screen size, in that case you can use this little hack. You just have to write background repeat no repeat and background size 100% space 100%. The first one specifies the width and the second one specifies the height. Now if you will save and hit reload, you get a beautiful background image. In fact, in fact, what you can do is you can go to Google and you can type wallpaper, go to images and select any image that you like, say this one, go to view image, you get a URL, copy that URL, go back to your CSS file and replace the file address with the URL that you have just copied. And now when you hit save and you will go back to your page and reload, and now you have got a beautiful wallpaper as your background.